Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Review, I'm going to be showing you guys the map Lusk. Now, this is actually a really cool map. Uh, once again, we found it on the Steam Workshop. Um, it was pretty highly rated as well. And uh, today I'm going to be reviewing this for you guys, and hopefully you guys can figure out a little more about it. Maybe go check it out yourself. And the map maker itself can maybe get some suggestions on how they can attempt to make the map better. So anyway guys, let's start off with going over some of the map's strengths. So one of the main things that was really nice about this map was that there was decent detailing and it was also spread out thoroughly throughout the map. Because if you guys remember from the last uh, map we reviewed, um, there was a lot of good detail on that map, but it was not spread out through the map at all. And many areas of the map did not have very much detailing at all. So if you guys notice, uh, most of the houses will have stuff in it. Um, pretty much all floors of the houses will have stuff in it, except for some of the main apartment buildings and skyscrapers. But uh, there's just a lot of good detail that was put into this. Another really important thing about this map is that the difficulty of surviving is actually quite appropriate. Now, um, I would rate this map as maybe a medium to easy type difficulty. There's plenty of good resources and item spawns that you can access. There's also a lot of gun spawns, but that doesn't mean that it would necessarily get a good difficulty score. In order to have appropriate difficulty, the map needs to also be a little bit challenging. And this map is also decently challenging. Um, there's plenty of zombie spawns. There's a lot of higher zombie content in certain areas where there's better gear. There's also a few mega zombie spawns. So there's definitely a lot to work towards in this map and uh, there's definitely a lot of challenge involved with surviving. Something that's also good about this map is that there's enough resources on it to uh, support about four people uh, very comfortably though. So if you wanted to use this for a server setting that would definitely be uh, definitely a thing and you could definitely support multiples of your friends on this map if you were all trying to survive together. Also relating to survival there's quite a lot of vehicles on this map and that is definitely a good thing. Uh, the last one we reviewed did not have any and so even though I think it's a normal size map um, you will be able to traverse it decently easily just because uh, the the builder did include uh, helicopters, cars, and I think some planes as well. So definitely not lacking in that area. Also, this map did take advantage of a few of the new features. As you guys may notice, there's a big tunnel here about in the center of the map. And, you know, it takes advantage of a few of the cool features that were added recently. In terms of the natural areas of the map, uh, this is probably one of my favorites, which is the swamp. Um, also, just overall, it's just got a nice natural feel to it. You know, a good amount of areas surrounding and separating the cities and towns that the builder includes. And, you know, it's just overall good natural feel to the area. And lastly, the map actually had a pretty decent presentation. Uh, that is going to be something we're grading these maps on. It doesn't hold a very high weight in terms of overall score. But it is important to have a good presentation with your maps because that's sort of how people initially judge them. So if you don't present your map well, uh, people are not going to click on it and initially download it and see what it's like. So even if you've got the best map in the world, but it's presentation is terrible, there's no way that it's going to be become very popular or successful. Alright, so let's move on to some of the downsides of the map. And, you know, there are a few, and, you know, this map scored pretty well, 79% total. But, um, you know, there were a few issues that we found with the map. So, first of all, uh, the style is dependable with this map, but it is also bland. One of the few things uh, I, I looked at and noticed quite quickly is that there's a lack of materials on this map. Um, for example, you've got uh, sand, grass, uh, rock here, and you've got roads surrounding the roads. That's a good touch, but you're also missing uh, dirt. There is no dirt material, and it actually makes the map feel kind of weird. Now, there are definitely optional uh, type of materials, for example, different types of grass, and definitely gravel would be optional, but you know, adding those in would improve the quality of the map and would help the natural side of it feel a little better. At this point, there's up to eight different material types per terrain, and this uh, map maker only used four of them. So, you know, kind of a little lacking there, and it definitely decreases the quality of the map overall. Another thing that is kind of bland about the map is the lighting. Um, you know, it, it's good, there's nothing terrible about it, but it's sort of so-so. There's nothing really noticeable about the lighting, or like the fog and whatnot, 
and it would really help if the person who made it would actually put a little more time into it and maybe try to make it a little more unique. It's definitely decent lighting. Um, we can't take points off really because the lighting's so bland, but uh, it would definitely could use to have some sprucing up. Also, the main thing that makes this map pretty bland is that it is a direct copy of Washington. Now, before I begin, uh, this is mostly for the person who made this map. Thank you so much for putting it as a disclaimer for your map that it is a direct copy of Washington. As a part of the design of this map, the person who made it really copied Washington, and they actually expressly said that in sort of the description of their map on Steam. So it's a good thing they said that, otherwise it'd be direct copying of somebody else's intellectual property. You could definitely get in trouble for that, but, uh, you know, as much as it's good that they mentioned that, it's also kind of an issue because the originality of their map really is decreased, and because of that, which Washington is decent detail, but uh, the overall detail is kind of decreased as well because you don't have any of those original sort of building setups and other things that you would find if the person that made these did them by themselves. All the building and house layouts are directly copied from Washington, which is actually a good way to start. So if you're a beginning map maker, this is definitely a good idea, but it will lower the quality of your map immensely. Now the last two things I want to mention both have to do with the natural side of the map. One has to do with bush spawns. So obviously the natural side of this map is pretty solid. You know, he has a lot of good trees. Obviously there's not much uh, variety in terms of that, which definitely could be a downfall. But also something that uh, they could improve the natural side of it with is bushes. And that really just helps uh, flush out the foliage. Uh, he did a good job of adding maybe these little farm-like patches and some good grass here and there, but bushes would have really strengthened the natural part of this map. The last thing that I want to mention that really could have helped enhance the map is that uh, he did not include animal spawns. Now it's not usually the biggest deal, but uh, what it really does is it helps the natural part of the map. It makes it feel a little more immersive seeing animals and other wild things in the woods, and including them would have also made it, the map a little more survivable. So that's pretty much it for the weaknesses of the map. Uh, obviously, there's probably a few other things that I forgot to mention. But overall, very good map. Um, definitely very playable. Obviously, a little bland. Uh, definitely could be something that the person who made this works on. And hopefully, you know, they'll continue to make these solid maps. If you guys want to see the scores and why we rated them what, uh, that'll be on the screen here. And hopefully you guys will check this map out sometime in the future. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more.